Bible Story 3 Elijah and Another Miracle Children, do you remember what we learnt in the last two stories about Elijah? Yes, Elijah the prophet lived during a famine when there was no rain or dew for more than three years. In the beginning, Father God sent him to a brook in the Cherith Valley and ravens fed him. Later, Father God sent him to the home of a poor woman and her son. The mother had only a little flour and oil when Elijah first arrived, but Father God made sure that the flour and oil did not run out as long as the famine lasted. That was the first miracle in their home, but that was not the last. By the way, what is a miracle? I can hear some good answers from some of you. Let me tell you, miracle is actually what we can't do. It's the impossible that only Father God can do in and through our lives. We just heard that the little flour and oil stayed a long time and she could bake and bake all the time during famine for all her families and for Elijah. Let's see what happens next. There was a lot of joy in the home of the mom and son. Everything went well. Suddenly, one day, a terrible thing happened in the home of this poor mother and son. Do you know what happened? Let's see. One day, all of a sudden, the only son of the mother falls ill and he dies. The mother is heartbroken and is in tears. Her only joy and hope died. But what does she do? Does she just sit and cry all day and get ready for his burial? No. She runs to Elijah. Who is Elijah? The man who talks to God all the time. Elijah loves Father God and he speaks to him and shares all his joys and disappointments with God. The mother was afraid and confused. She knows that Elijah is a very good man and she feels that she herself is very bad. So she tells him, Are you here to remind me of my sin, my bad behavior, Elijah? Now children, do you know why she says that? The Bible says, If we do wrong things, hurt others, speak lies, then there is a punishment for that sin. That punishment is death. But the Bible also says, Jesus came into this world as a baby to live and die in our place. Jesus takes our punishment on him. So when we come to him and say sorry for our wrongdoings, Jesus forgives us and saves us from punishment. Okay, back to the story. The mother then tells Elijah, My son has just died. I don't know what to do. Please help me, if you can, Elijah. Please. Elijah asks her to give him her son. He carries the dead child to his upper room. 
he lays the child on his bed. He calls out to Father God and says, Father, why this tragedy in this home? By causing the son to die. Then Elijah lies down on the boy three times and cries out to Father God in prayer. Elijah prays, O Lord my God, let this child live again. Father God listens to Elijah's prayer and the life of the child comes back into him again. And he's alive! So what does Elijah do next? Elijah takes the child and brings him down from his room into the house and gives the child to his mother. Elijah tells the mother, See, your son lives. The mother is overjoyed to see her son alive. Now she understands who Elijah is. The mother tells Elijah, Now I know you are a man of God, and what you speak is from the Lord, and it is truth. What does the mother say about Elijah? That's right. He's a man loved by God. He speaks the truth of God. Question time, children. Shall we discuss a few things about the story? What do you like most in the story? Mm, I like the miracle, dead child coming alive. Who are the three people in the story? Wow, you did listen to the story carefully. Yes, the mother, her child and Elijah. Do you remember who Elijah is? True. He is a friend of Father God. He talks to God. God chats with Elijah. What's the second miracle that Elijah does? Elijah prays to Father God. Father listens and answers prayer. The dead child comes to life. Children, do you think Father God still listens to our prayer? and answers prayer? You're not sure? Doesn't matter. God never changes. He loves us. He listens to us. He answers us in many different ways, through mommy and or daddy, through Bible stories and many more ways. Why do you need Father God? Because Jesus alone can take care of you. He created you. He made all the food you eat, all the water you drink. He made the air you breathe. Children, how can you have Jesus? Remember to speak to Jesus every day. Say, Heavenly Father, I know you love me. I'm sorry for my bad behavior, my harsh words, for not listening to mommy and daddy, for hurting others. Thank you for coming into this world to die for me. Make me your child and make me good. Bless me and my family. I love you. Thank you for listening to me. Amen. Memory verse, Hebrews 13, verse 8. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever.